In this video I'm gonna break down my attempt of recreating House of Dragon intro in Blender. Before we start I need to say that I heavily relied on Bradley Animation's free geometry node presets. You can find the link in description. In new Blender scene we are going to add new empty hair curve and while still selected clear parent with Alt P. We can delete the cube as we only need the hair curve as a placeholder for geometry nodes. To create a weave pattern you can model manually or directly in geometry nodes. I use Bezier segment, lower the resolution to 4 for performance, start handle X to minus 0.1, Y to 0 and Z to 1. And handle X is 0.1, Y is 0 and X is minus 1. This was connected to transfer geometry node with value of minus 0.35 and 0.35 for X and Z and 90 degrees and 45 degrees for X and Y rotation. I used quadrilateral node with uh, width and height of 1 meter and curved to points with only 4 points. This is plugged into instance on points and Bezier segment to instance. And if we plug in rotation to rotation, we are getting this basic weave pattern that we are going to instance on the grid. We can add a grid or you can add also a plane separately, but this way we have a more control of resolution. Think of vertices X and Y as a resolution. For start I'm going to set it to 100 and size to 198. Before we instance anything I want to displace the grid to fake the fabric moving and I use the preset from Bradley Animation Normal Displacement and I added another called 3D Noise. Now all of this can be done without presets but it just requires multiple nodes and this saves a lot of time. I increased the scale to see the displacement better and I played with the frequency until I was happy with the result. For the animation I plugged the scene time node with the mad multiply node to control the speed into the evolution. Now we can add the instance to point node and plug the low pattern to instance. If I increase the scale again, you can see that the pattern is not following the rotation of the grid and we can solve that by adding normal node and align rotation to vector and plug that into the rotation of the instance node. To add more details to the pattern, I used another grid preset called helical connection, which will duplicate the curve. For the tilt, I used the float range and set the step to pi. To get even more details, you can duplicate the helical connection node and play with the radius. To be able to render this, we are going to add realize instance node and bevel curve node to control the radius of the curve. The reason why I prefer the bevel curve over the standard curve radius is that I can easily change from rounded to flat profile to get a flat ribbons. To get a pattern of a dragon, I used the image texture that I generated using ChatGPT and I plugged that into the selection of the instance node. Now everything disappeared and the reason is that the mapping is wrong and we need to connect the UV map to the vector of the image texture. To get the material and color from the image, we will need to capture the UV from the grid with the store name attribute node and change from float to the curve, like the UV to value and name it UV. Now we need material for this and we can go to the shader editor and add the new material. With Ctrl T we can add the new image texture and use the same image of a dragon that we used for the mask earlier. For mapping we are going to add the attribute node and connect the vector to vector of an image texture and for the attribute we can write UV. For all this to work, back in geometry nodes we need to set the material. To control the animation I added the empty to the scene. I added trim curve node after realize instances and I used the preset called proximity falloff with empty selected as object and this was plugged into the end of the trim curve. Now if we scale the empty we are going to see this growing animation. To introduce randomness you can add the vector noise into the position of the proximity falloff and to control the falloff you can add the color ramp node. For the close up shots I use the curl hair curve node with a very small factor just to introduce some randomness and texture to the curves. Finally, we can add Join Geometry node to join back the base grid plane that serves as the canvas that this is woven on. You will need to add separate material for the canvas and I use one of the fabrics material from the Blender Kit add-on. To get more details from the image, you can always increase the resolution on the grid. However, this becomes very heavy for the system and unless you have a beefy machine, you don't want to go too high here. Rest was just a camera movement and lighting, but this would require a separate video. I hope this was helpful and shout out to Bradley Animation as most of the techniques comes from his tutorials as well as his amazing presets and also Blender study for the weave pattern. If you made this far, don't forget to like the video and see you next time.